If there is one muscle group that I see trained incorrectly 99% of the time at the gym, it is no doubt traps. And that is a shame because traps are f***ing awesome. When you develop your traps, you're gonna look like you're more powerful. It's just gonna give you a more impressive looking physique, especially when you have the upper chest and the trap line developed. Now, I want you guys to try this at home right now. I want you to try to activate your traps from your hands inside your thighs like this. I see a lot of you guys shrugging like this. Try to activate your traps at home with no weight doing this. Now, I want you to make a switch. I want you to bring your hands outside of your thighs and I want you to try to shrug up and in. Up and in. Notice how you're able to activate your traps even without any weight 10 times better with just placing your hands from inside to outside, focusing on shrugging up and in. So now that we got that out of the way, I wanna show you guys the only three trap exercises you're gonna need with dumbbells only to maximally activate those traps and really build them up. And best of all, we're gonna do a balloon method style workout with these three moves, which is gonna be a perfect combination of lifting heavy and lifting with time under tension. So let's get right into it. So I had three of my favorite moves picked out and I actually had to ditch one of them because a couple days ago, I asked Charles Glass what his favorite dumbbell trap exercise was and I tried it, I did it, I loved it, and I wanna show you guys. Now, it's a very unique movement you probably have never done before. Now, the starting position is actually with your hands inside right here. So that incorrect starting position that I was telling you guys about, you're actually gonna start here with a pronated grip. But what you're gonna do is you're going to rotate out into a supinated grip and you're gonna shrug up nice and slow and controlled from your hands being outside of your thighs. So look at how when we rotate, we're rolling our shoulders back, you're keeping your chest up, we're activating. Now on this one, you definitely don't wanna to go too heavy. You wanna go 10 to 12 rep range and you wanna pick a weight, I would almost say 50% of what you would do normally on the dumbbell shrugs, really focusing on activation on this. So watch it all together now. Squeeze, and I really want you guys to squeeze for one to two seconds at the top. Most of you guys, you're doing this right here. That's not gonna work out your traps. This is actually working out my traps. So rotate, pronated to supinated grip, squeeze at the top for a second, back to starting position. And I want you guys to go 10 to 12 reps. So this is gonna be the heavy uh, progressive movement. Where we're gonna keep great form. So progressive eccentric means you pick a heavy weight and you're focusing on activation, slow and controlled on the way down. So. That is a phenomenal trap movement. And we're gonna get into a more traditional trap movement next. We're gonna make a few tweaks. We're gonna make all the difference. Let's go over here by the rack. I'm gonna show you guys the second move, which is gonna be a little bit of a traditional standing dumbbell shrug, but I'm gonna show you guys a uh, advanced drop set to really maximize the activation and the time under tension. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, you know, straps or no straps on your trap workout. I recommend straps because as you get stronger, for instance, you know, I can shrug 100, 110 pound dumbbells with good form, but my grip strength really won't allow me to rep out 10 to 12 reps without switching some of the overload from my traps to my forearms. So by using straps, I'm able to uh, really not worry about my forearms and really take them out of this. Now, on this movement right here, once again, don't start from this position right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your hands out. You're gonna be in a neutral position. You're gonna try to even bring the dumbbells out a tiny bit more. I really want you guys to focus on shrugging up and in and squeezing for one hard second at the top. And don't use your knees. A big mistake I see is people like, watch, this is so much easier. When I'm doing this right here, I can do this all day. But when I take my lower body out of the movement, it makes it twice as hard. So this right here is much harder than this. So really focus on that and drop the weight and uh, you'll be surprised at how light you'll have to go when you really perfect your form on these shrugs. So I want you guys to go heavy on this, 10 to 12 rep range, and then a little advanced drop set you could do here is you could take take these plates so I usually do a 45 you could do a 35 25 pound plate it doesn't really matter it's more about time under tension and increasing the activation what you're gonna do is you're going to hold the plates out here 
they're gonna rep up 10 to 12 more strict reps and do not bend your knees at all. Don't use momentum. Really focus on, now that you fired up the traps, you got a bunch of blood pumping in those traps. Focus on 10 to 12 more really clean reps. And look at this position right here. Uh, hands just outside the thighs. It's a really great starting position to activate the trap. So I want you guys to do three total sets of that. And uh, definitely recommend you guys do the drop set. You know, as part of the balloon method, we wanna maximize our workout intensity through all these different intensity factors. So last but not least, this is probably my favorite trap exercise I do in almost every single one of my workouts uh, forever and on the programs. I'm sure you guys have seen this one a lot by now. So the seated position gives you a lot of advantages when working out your traps. So first of all, it's gonna take your lower body momentum completely out of the movement. So you guys aren't able to cheat the reps as much. And also, look at the starting position. So my hands are out here. So this is a perfect starting position to activate the traps. The hands are not inside my thighs, they're outside the thighs naturally in the seated position. So with this one, what I want you guys to do is we're not counting reps for this. I want you guys to go a time under tension set. So I want you guys to go like 30 to 45 seconds time under tension, really focusing on squeezing and activating the traps and you're not resting down here for long periods of time. So you wanna keep that trap under tension. So let me show you guys a few normal reps here. So I would just go just like that for 30 to 45 seconds time under tension. If you guys are more advanced, I definitely wanna challenge you to go a full 45 seconds time under tension. And once again, you're gonna pick a weight that you would probably do like 50 to 60% less than you do on the standing variation because it's taking the momentum completely out of it. And you really wanna focus on activation. The traps are a stubborn muscle group. There's lots of type two muscle fibers. So you really wanna focus on not ego lifting and focus on these time under tension lifts. So I want you guys to go three total sets, 30 to 45 seconds time under tension on this, resting only 45 seconds to 60 seconds between your sets. So for today's Superhuman Squad giveaway, we're gonna give one person a pair of the Alpha straps. So these are uh, Elf Lines wrist straps, obviously great for shrugs, great for heavy rows, farmer's walks, and especially great for working out your traps. So, one person is going to win this. All you have to do is comment down below, Superhuman Squad, and tap that little notification bell so you do not miss out on future videos. And I'll pick one person within the first three hours of uploading to win these. And last but not least, we have a very exciting segment that I'm calling the inaugural Troll Olympics. So I'm gonna hand select my favorite troll comment from a previous video, and we're gonna put them on the spot and give them a chance to win $1,000. So. I got this lovely comment from uh, my only three chest exercises video. He goes, typical bro physique, no lats and no biceps. So besides the fact that my lats are probably my most developed muscle group, if he claims I have zero lats, we're gonna put him on the spot and see if he can do more pull-ups than me. So you have until the end of the day on January 30th to DM me on Instagram at Troy Shred a video of you doing pull-ups until failure. And if you could do more pull-ups until failure than I can, I will give you a thousand dollars cash. So should be very simple to do more pull-ups than a guy who has zero lats. So we're gonna put this lovely young man on the spot. And lastly, I created the Superhuman Training Programs to give you guys the fastest results possible. Just like my boy Garrett, who had a jaw-dropping one month transformation on the action figure program. If you don't have a structure plan of attack with your workouts, and your diet plan, you are flat out not going to get to your fitness goals. And that's exactly why I created the programs, to give you guys an exact plan of attack with your workouts and your diet plan. Of course, utilizing the balloon method and having your diet locked in is going to give you guys lightning fast results. So there's two programs that I really recommend for you guys if you're watching this video. First of all, the action figure program is more of a recomp, which is going to allow you guys to build muscle and burn fat at the same time over the course of 12 weeks. And if you guys just wanna pack on the most amount of muscle mass possible, 
the Masthetics program is a great program for an aggressive lean bulk. So I'm gonna link to both those programs right down in the description. And if you wanna stay right here on YouTube, I'm gonna link over here to the only three playlists. I've done these only three videos now for just about every single muscle group. And I'm gonna link over here to the complete balloon method workout playlist for every single muscle group. And I will see you guys on the next video. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights.